I'm welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben. I make videos about my depression in my mind. I make videos about my paranoid schizophrenia, which I've had for the past 16 years. Since I was about 20 or 21 years old. I'm 35 now, born 84. May 84, I'm on my birthday yet. So my next birthday in May 26th, I'll be 36 years old. Anyway, this is a live video because the other video I made on my crack B log one went so somehow 43 minutes long and it didn't upload, it was just hang on processing. So it was saying processing and it wouldn't go any further than that. For some unknown reason, I'm not sure as to the reason, but it wasn't really good anyway. This will be a better video than that one. As you may or you may not know, I have bursitis of my left hip. My right hip, so I my right hip. And my left hip was a bit painful as well. I think I wanted a hip replacement. By the time I'm 40, I might have to have one with too much water on concrete, too much crack, which decreases the amount of calcium in your bones, in your body. So you need calcium to build up the strength in your bones, basically. Anyway, this video is about my crack withdrawal. I still think about crack every single day of my life. Every waking hour I think about crack, basically. And even when I'm smoking a roll up outside, I'm, crack is still at the front of my mind. But I want to get a stage in my life where the crack is no longer in here. I want it to be out there, that's out the window. You can go suck someone else. I ain't. I ain't doing crack again, I'm not giving into that stuff, that white shit anymore. I've done it for a number of years. Not every day though, some days I wouldn't do anything. I would just take my Oxycontin, because Oxycontin alone can really relax you and make you gulp out. I used to top it up with heroin sometimes, but not with some. I used to do Oxycontin and crack sometimes, but not very often. But when I did do it, it was a brilliant effect, I've got to admit that. It felt like I was running on... It felt like I was in a bubble, and uh, no one could touch me in this bubble, but as soon as you come down, that bubble bursts, and you're automatically with it all down, like everyone else in the world. Not as high as you can be, like, flying above the ground. You can't can hear other people's inner voices in their head, which is very strange. I once mind read that a woman was Irish, but she didn't have an Irish accent or any other telltale signs that she was Irish other than me and reading her mind. She was a nurse in the hospital, I think she was called Amanda and I, I think that was her name, Amanda, but I'm not 100% sure. I read her mind anyway somehow and told she was Irish. I talked to her, are you Irish by any chance? I said to her and she said, yeah, how do you know that? So I just read my mind. She never told anyone in that place, that hospital setting, that she was Irish either. So I just wanted to get it out of her for some unheard of reason that I read on my life. I was like a good DMT trip then. And, and the vault was very interesting. Very interesting how my life was going in reverse. And basically, I was born again and it happened near of now. Like the end of it, sorry, that's what I should say. I'm not, I speak like this, but I, can't, I speak as it is, logically. I don't speak like a few normal human. I have to process the information first and then speak it. I'm a bit sad like that, but it's not sad in my opinion. It's just processing information to make sure I get it right for you guys and girls like that. What would you recommend doing? I'm on Prozarxidin to take the effect, side effects of the Flucapixel away and I'm not on Flucapixel anymore. The depot has now stopped and I'm just on Quetiapin pills now to help with my schizophrenia. Antipsychotic is what that Quetiapin is. It's also known as Seroquel, you may have come across it in your time. It's one of the first First atypical antipsychotics out there, like a Abilify, like Respiridone, it's a similar drug to Respiridone. 
But the tarpon course is the most drowsiness out of all the atypical antipsychotics. In my opinion, from the ones I've tried, I've always, always had the best outcome with Seroquel, which is quetiapine, obviously. I've always had the best effects with quetiapine. And I can get to sleep at night, every night, by 11 o'clock, and I wake up fresh as a daisy at about 11 o'clock the next morning. Today I woke up at 6 in the morning. It's still dark outside. It might have been 5 in the morning. I can't remember now. I checked my phone, I think it's 5.30, 5.40 in the morning. Come up to 6 o'clock anyway. It was still dark outside, but I basically went for a pee in the toilet and then went back to bed again. Didn't get involved with getting dressed, I was going for a piss and then went back to bed again. But so I got enough sleep last night, I must have 13 hours sleep last night. You still try getting a normal heroin like 13 hours sleep. So you have to be on heroin to have that amount of sleep basically. <laughs> And I've got on it, I've got to get that amount of sleep because I'm uh, 14 weeks clean off the gear now, 12 weeks clean off crap, two years clean off Oxycontin. I'm really proud to be clean off Oxycontin because that stuff is evil when you get addicted to it. You get, you come out of poo and vomit, come out at, at each end at the same time, so you can actually shit yourself. I haven't felt fortunately shit myself before. But I've been on the toilet having a dump and I've been throwing up at the same time in the sink. So that's a sort of you know, a really weird manoeuvre to, 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 in order to throw up into the sink and in order to have a crap in the toilet and it actually stunk after, I tell you. <laughs> it's not funny, but you know what I mean, you can't help it. When you come off heroin and oxycontin at the same time, pretty much the same time anyway, you're bound to get shakes and you're bound to get resource symptoms like diarrhoea. Nothing takes it away, even methadone doesn't totally take it away and I've been on 80 mil for a number of years now and I was actually on 60 mil for quite a long time, quite a few, three or for three years on 80, 60 mil and so that, thanks for the comment. I couldn't quite read that, it's too small to read. I'll have to come back to you later because sorry about that, come on comment it. Thanks for the comment love, I think the girl, Angel Dust is it. She always comments on my channel, Angel Dust does. The person called Angel Dust, not the drug, obviously. A drug can't really talk to you, but it can if you do a lot of acid, a drug can talk to you, so it's a lie. They can talk through the walls to you. But I like voices come through the walls to me, it's like the walls actually got, they've got a mouth and it's opening and closing to the work, to the way a car drives fast, the lyrics of a song when a car drives fast, the voices change into that internet and the, vo the walls shimmer in and out, right? And at the note of the engine of the car or the exhaust of the car, I think the exhaust of the car, I think. And this is really weird. Basically, I, I've been stuck in the kale before as well, with no way out, I had to wait for it to wear off. I was, luckily I was in my bed at the time, but I wanted to be at the reef, but I, I had to sleep rough. But I camped. I, mean, I slept in a tent, so it wasn't really sleeping rough. But that, that was quite a good time there for mates and colleagues as well. I've had lots of fun in my life, as you can probably imagine. But now it's time to get clean. And I want to get off quick crack. It's been 12 weeks now. I plan to stay off it for the rest of my life and stay off it for the rest of my life, crucially. Because it's an evil drug. It's always, all your money, you might have a 20 pound note in your crap pipe and then set fire to it. Yeah, that's my 20 quid note for smoke. Thanks very much, 20 pound note. You, you brought me a point two of air. I bespoke points of air, sorry, and the paper as well, undulating. It's great, isn't it? It's like paper, and it's so high, mate. So high, I'm rocking shit up there. I need to down all you pesky human beings living on the earth, like I'm gonna chuck you, and I'll bring you up to Mars now. Yeah, mate. Sorry about like messing about, I'm just taking a piss out of myself as usual. I'm not high on anything at the moment. I'm high on quetiapine, I'm high on. My soap will fumigate my beta blocker and I'm also high on diet if I'm from last night probably and the silage that I had last night and <clears throat> my silage last night really helped me 
it helped chill me out a bit. I left half a can, so I only had three and a half cans really, three and a quarter cans actually. But then three quarters were coming in the frigo, in the fridge. I better drink that sometime. I might drink some this afternoon. Uh, just finishing the two cans off, I've got half left or three quarters left off. And you start drinking properly about six o'clock tonight. I find alcohol quite a social drug, but I don't agree with it being legal. I think it should be really illegal, really. The damage it does to you. The damage it to your liver if you drink in excess, but it can be useful in social situations to make you talk more, to say things you wouldn't normally say. And that's why it really is quite a powerful drug. You can get alcohol poisoning from drinking too much alcohol, such as vodka, whiskey, even lager, such as 10 and super strength. That's lager, but it's like 8.5 or 9%. And basically people are leaving messages on my wall for my, for my videos now. Right as I speak, I keep going through the camera to read them, but the writing is just too small to read. I can't read it, I need glasses, I think. I can't read the messages, so just message me and say, I'll reply when this video is over, if I see them. 